you know, to get back to work. They're going to have a couple days in the gym. This has been a long week for this team. Mike Brown will confer with his leadership council as Tatum lays in another bucket. His leadership council consisting of Fox, Sabonis, Davion Mitchell. I'm really curious why the starters are on the floor for Joe Missoula right now. I mean, especially considering the fact that they have not been healthy and you're finally getting guys back. They've got a sizable lead. Not much time to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back here on the other side. Grab your phone, text the word KINGS to 86225. Well, Mike Muscala, Luke Cornett. Amongst other subs coming to the ball game for Boston, for Sacramento, Matthew Delavadova comes in. You know, interesting to point out, Delavadova's value goes beyond what happens on the court. A couple of days ago on the flight from Brooklyn to Washington, he went back to the back of the plane and spoke with Terrence Davis just to check on his teammate to see how his spirits were because TD, by his own admission, had not been playing very well recently and was in his head a little bit. Well, Delhi basically got him to puff his chest out a little bit, and Davis came out the next night and put up great numbers in that victory in Washington. It really underscores the value of having somebody like Della Vidova with championship lineage on this team, which will go into the playoffs with just two guys that have kind of been there before yeah. the other being Harrison Barr. Yeah, there, there's not a lot of uh, playoff experience, let yeah. alone championship experience, both Delhi and Harrison with both yeah. to their to their resume. But you're right, leadership, Mark, comes in a lot of different ways. Yeah. And you need it to come at different points in the season. And Delhi is one of those guys. A lot of the time, the behind-the-scene leadership yeah. is really the most important, especially situations when guys are struggling a little bit. Delhi is the guy that will go around the room and check his teammates' temperatures from time to time. And he's had some key moments for this Kings team this year when Fox was hurt. Remember that big three he hit in Charlotte earlier this year? There's a three by Rashawn Holmes. Good to see Rashawn Holmes on the floor. Yeah. It's been a minute since he has made the appearance, and nice to see him back out there. Sacramento Kings trying to wrap up a playoff spot this week and end that odious, bilious 17-year playoff drought. Those words are both being bad things, folks. And Mike Brown is the guy that has orchestrated, has alchemized this incredible transformation. You know, people are wondering about the offense, the highest-scoring offense in the NBA this year. You know, if you were paying attention, folks, and saw the Nigerian national team last summer, you would have seen Mike Brown running the same offense that the Kings are running right now. If you were watching Summer League, you would have known that seeing them in third in the standings would have been a distinct possibility. But you know what? I have to stay after school sometimes, too. I was just a C-plus student, Katie. <laughs> Hey, when well, I graduated, Mark, it wasn't magna cum laude. Yeah. It was thank you, laude. We have all uh, <laughs> struggled in our own areas. I will not judge that school was one of yours. Oh, you can judge me. It's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm admitting. 
You've seen my game prep sheets. Yeah. You've got to imagine the type of student I was, right? Yeah. <laughs> Studying for midterms before every game. Cornette looks at his left hand. Yeah, it's alive. To the victors go the spoils. Delhi with a floater. I like this unit coming in here the last couple minutes and getting some points yeah. on the board. It has not been easy for the Kings. Just 106 points. Now, this is the highest scoring offense in the league at just 106 points tonight when they average over 120. That speaks right. a lot to this Boston defense, Mark. Grant Williams going to work against Ellis. Holmes put that shot on layaway, but it's going to be goaltender. It looked like it happened in slow motion. Like yeah. he could have beat it way before he did, right? Yeah. Like he was waiting for it to get closer. Ellis on the flip action. Back out to Metu. A little show hey. and go on Muscala through the contact. Count it. To Messi Metu with the bucket. Sacramento is going to be held under its average of about 119 points per game against the fourth-rated defense in the NBA. And, you know, critics will say and ask, will Sacramento's offense be able to be this fluid in the playoffs when the game slows down? Katie, my answer to that is yes, because everything in the Kings' offense starts with a handoff or some type of motion. So you eliminate the so, chance of being stagnant. I'm, I'm really curious about that. Obviously, I haven't covered the playoffs yet. I've been with this team through the whole drought. So it should be interesting, Mark, to see how it responds to a change in the season. Celtics going to let it run out. 